Hey everyone, Steph here from Barbell Sanctuary. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly why I love making my own gym equipment and how to customize it. So if you watch this channel, you've undoubtedly probably watched my DIY deadlift jacked build. I've made quite a few of these and I do actually have one that's the correct height right now, but this is my original Lucille and I just got new bumper plates uh, this year and Lucille is not quite tall enough because I had built it to specs to the iron plates that I had. So I just need to add a little bit of height and that's all I'm going to do today. And that's the reason why building your own equipment is so awesome is you can customize it. You can just tweak it for your needs. And now my needs have changed because now I have bumper plates. And as you can see here, it goes up. It doesn't go quite high enough for me to be able to take my plates off. So I just want to add a little bit of height to it. And I have this old piece of rubber flooring uh, left over. So I think I'll just cut this out and put it underneath it. It's going to add about a quarter inch and that's all I'll need. But while I'm at it, the handle, I think I'll sand it down so it's a little bit more round. And I'll probably add some black tape or something to give it the look that I want. Today, we're gonna give a little bit of love to Lucille. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna set my deadlift jack on this piece of rubber and I'm gonna tra trace it with white chalk. There. Now I'm using two pieces of wood to kind of sandwich it in there. That way I don't need to get my fingers nice or close to the blade. There. Perfect. Now I'm just going to screw it on the bottom. I'm just using these Phillips uh, screws. Oh my, it's cold in here. That's kind of cool. So now I just got a quarter inch rubber under there. Let's just see if that's enough. All right, just add a little bit of height. Perfect. I'm just gonna confirm with my 45s that that's good. Yeah. Now it clears. There. And the rubber is kind of nice addition on the bottom. There. Good to go. Let's bring this over to the vise. And we're going to round off that handle. And I'm just going to sand off the little edges here. Finish that off. So I got it nice and smooth now. I got the handle like I want it. I'm just gonna add some hockey tape to it for uh, just some extra texture. And I kind of break up the pattern. Just change up the look a little bit. Make it look uh, a little bit closer to my vision of Lucille. And I'm all done. My few modifications. My original DIY deadlift jack. I like the handle now. It's got a, it's more rounded, better grip. And there she is. Lucille. And she works a lot better now. There. Yeah. And like I mentioned in my other videos about this deadlift jack, because it's wood. You're not gonna scratch up your bar or anything. If anything, the jack's gonna break, but it's wood. And as you've seen, I was able to attach an extra piece to it. No problem. Uh, I think eventually this little lip here that catches the wood is gonna break. It's starting to chip away a little bit. It still works for now. I just wanna add 
a piece of wood right here once this part here breaks apart. If you like garage gems and you like to do it yourself, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on other videos like this. I'm releasing videos weekly. Thanks for coming by and we'll see you guys next time.